Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Harry Maguire, what a signing he will be for Manchester United. Forget the negativity and jump on board. He will be a good signing for Manchester United. I firmly believe it. I think you're talking about a lad here who was at Hull a few years ago, who went to Leicester, who is now England's best centre-back. He rarely makes a mistake. And I tell you what, if, you, if you're still unsure... This guy went to Anfield in January, scored an equaliser and stopped them winning the league effectively. So he's already a United legend, isn't he? But look, seriously, I think the trajectory of Harry Maguire, but also what he will bring to Manchester United is really, really important. So forget the negativity about the transfer fee and all that jazz. The transfer fee logically makes sense. Of course, it's ridiculous, but it makes sense with regards to Van Dijk went for this 75 million 18 months ago. He's English. He's England's best centre-back. He's Premier League proven. It's going to be 80 million. But what does Harry Maguire bring to Manchester United? And ultimately, is it our money? Not really. This is not really. But statistically, let's just have a quick look at this because I think you've, you've got a lot of people start saying Harry Maguire's slow. Harry Maguire's this. He's that. Look, he scored four goals and he got one assist last year. I'm going to compare him to Van Dijk because Van Dijk's the best centre back in England and, and arguably in Europe. So Van Dijk got seven goals and two assists, but played more played more games obviously because they were successful in Europe and Leicester weren't even in Europe. Tackles per game, Harry is averaging one tackle per game, whereas Van Dijk is 0.9, so he's beating on that. Clearances per game, 5.2 for Van Dijk, 4.5 for Harry Maguire. Passing, well, look, you, you expect Van Dijk to be good at passing, don't you? Um, Van Dijk's passing per game, 89.8%, but 86% is still very good for some for a centre-back that people say is a big plod monster. You know, he's not. He's very good on the ball, Harry Maguire, and he's got very good distribution, as that shows. Blocks per game, 0.6, 0.5 for Van Dijk. Interceptions, 1.1 for Maguire and uh, 1 for Van Dijk. So look, very, very, very similar stats for both players. But what interests me the most, what did Manchester United need from a centre-back going into this summer? We needed a centre-back, because we've got loads of centre-backs. You've got a young, talented one in Twan Sibi. You've got a steady Eddie in Smalling. You've got Calamity Jones. You've got injured Rojo. You've got Bayi, who is a good centre-back but reckless. And you've got Lindelof, who's got the composure, can read the game and is good on the ball. What we don't have out of all those six centre-backs is a dominant centre-back in the air who's experienced. And Harry Maguire brings that. And they got... So he's dominant in the air. Now, this is the most important stat for me. United, we've seen it over the last few years. We're crap at corners. We can see goals from crosses. Harry Maguire, we need a dominant centre-back. We haven't had one dominant in the air since Vidic. And it was, you know, it brought so many points per season. Not, you know, Vidic could, was, was a threatening from corners. Of course he was. But he, every cross into the box, he'd run through a steel wall to get on it. And I think with Maguire, you've got that. And I saw this in the Nations League as well when we played Holland. I've mentioned it before. Van Dijk and De Ligt are good in the air. Harry Maguire's, go, Harry Maguire's going up for crosses and winning them. That's what Harry Maguire brings to us. And if you don't understand that United need somebody dominant in the air, then you're never going to get why we've bought Harry Maguire. But over last season, Harry Maguire won 78.1% of his aerial duels, Van Dyke 74.9%. So, you know, the, the number one, number one for aerial duels in the Premier League. What more can you ask of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United? They've highlighted something that is a massive issue for Manchester United there, and they've gone out and addressed it. And Harry Maguire brings that that none of our centre-backs do. And I, for one, am really, really excited to see how Manchester United will adapt with Harry Maguire in the Manchester United side. But on top of that, on top of that, it's not just that. It's this ability to come out from the back that, you know, Lindelof will switch here and Lindelof has the ability to drive forward into these areas, to play balls into these areas very, very quickly. But Harry Maguire as well, we, he will do it off the left-hand side. So when the ball goes to Harry Maguire, if there's space in front of him and Lindelof, they're going to drive forward. They're going to push defenders back. They're going to force people in towards them as well. And that is absolutely huge when it comes to what Harry Maguire will offer Manchester United. But on top of that, also, Harry Maguire is about not moving the pitch. I moved the wrong thing. I knew it was going too well. Harry Maguire is also about this. No, that's not Harry Maguire either. Where's bloody Harry Maguire? The comedy of me trying to use um, stats. There he is. I thought I'd clicked on him before. So Harry Maguire is about getting into these areas as well on the penalty box and around here. But the ability, like I say, to drive forward into these areas. And he can drive all the way forward there as well as if he wants to. But it is the aerial dominance that we'll get from Harry Maguire that will really make a change to the centre-backs. Because we do have a lot of centre-backs. The leadership thing gets thrown around. I mean, he isn't actually captain for Leicester. He won't come in as captain of Manchester United. But he is 
from the sort of background checks I've done on him, and not me personally, but, you know, reading a lot about him, his personality, look, whether you like, I like Jesse Lingard, I like Marcus Rashford, I like Anthony Martial, I like Pogba. They're not the sort of character I am, but I like the fact that they are exuberant and, and, and fun-loving, and, and as long as they're delivering on the pitch, that's fine. But I relate more to the Roy Keynes and the people like that who are, you know, just focused on being Manchester United players. And I think that with regards to Harry Maguire, you've got somebody who's, you know, not going to turn up in a track in a shell suit with a big gold chain on him and a, and a hat backwards. You know, he's not. He, he's a professional footballer like all of they are, all of them are. But I think he's that he's a focused player as well. I mean, and you can see that from his career, Hull City to Leicester to Manchester United. It's hunger. I want these hunger games. I want these players to come to Manchester United who are hungry to come to Manchester United. And Harry Maguire will certainly deliver that to us. So I'm very, very excited by the signing. I'm very excited about what he will bring. Look, there's doubters out there. I know you are doubting. I know that some people are doubting Harry Maguire. And I would ask you, what did you want? What did you want? I wanted Koulibaly, but I and I said that back in April. United need to go and buy a top five in the world centre back who's dominant, a leader, and can bring the ball out from the back. Koulibaly could have done that. Varane could do that. You could say maybe De Ligt could have done that. But we're Manchester United, sixth best club in England in the Europa League. It was always a challenge to do that. It's not Woodward's fault we didn't do that. Unless you go and spend a ridiculous amount of money and you bring a mercenary in. So. You can't get that sort of centre-back. Where do you go then? And definitely Harry Maguire is one of the top contenders on the next stage down. And the brilliance of Harry Maguire is, ticks all the boxes, dominant in the air, brings the ball out from the back, experienced, and he is a leader. But on top of that, he will come to Manchester United hungry. He will come to Manchester United and see it as a step up. And he will come to Manchester United desperate to show the world that this is where he belongs. I'm England's best centre-back. I'm now playing for England's biggest club. I want to deliver. And you know what? We're not there. We're, there's, no, there's no room for complacency with any United player because we know what we are. We are the sixth best club in England and we're in the Europa League. The only way is up. We want to be in the Champions League. And I think with Harry Maguire, you will get that hunger. Weakness, I'll own up to it now. His weakness is his lack of speed. But how many times does he really get exposed? I've seen a couple of clips but he's playing high-end football, World Cup football for England. Did he get exposed for pace there? Did he get exposed every week for Leicester? No, because actually he's an intelligent footballer who reads the game well. And I don't think he will get exposed for pace because United have got two very quick fullbacks next to him. Uh, I'm sorry, Luke Shaw would be next to him. You've got Wampersacker on the other side for Lindelof, who's not graced with great pace either. So I don't, I don't see it being a problem for United. I think this signing has all has everything. It ticks the, ticks the Premier League proven box. It ticks the right age box. It ticks the box of being dominant in the air. And it ticks the box of he will come to this club hungry. I think Harry Maguire is going to be a fantastic signing for Manchester United. Smash a like on the video. Get your comments in below. And look, a little brief insight. But really, it's about dom dominance in the air. I, I would say that is the number one thing. Dominance in the air. We haven't had it since Vidic. And we've now got a player who categorically is brilliant in the air and that is going to bring a whole new dimension to Manchester United Football Club because we haven't had that for a number of years. Make sure you subscribe if you're new bottom right hand corner, get your comments in below. I'll speak to you all soon.